This is a tutorial for the Infinity Q21 Cross Trainer console. So you start by plugging it into a power source. It'll light up for a moment. Now we'll ask you to input the year. By pressing the up and down keys you can adjust the numerical value. And press enter. Then add in the month. And then the day of the month then the time in 24 hour time now that's loaded the time and date into the system now you have to select your user profile you can select from user 1, 2, 3 or 4 and these profiles can be saved with your own personal settings so let's select user 1 and press enter now you have to choose your sex male or female Press enter, and then your age, in years, your height in centimetres, and your weight in kilograms. Now you'll come to the main menu. Now you have several programs which you can choose. The first one being manual, which lists across the top. Then there's program. Then heart rate control. Then custom user and finally watts. We'll go through all these, but first a quick look at the display. Time is listed at the top, then speed, distance, calories, watts, and pulse. Now let's have a look at the first program, manual. Manual basically allows you to choose your own resistance level and change it at your own pace. So if you press up and down, you can choose what resistance level it will be set at. This is how much resistance the machine will give you. Then you press enter, and you can then choose how long you want the workout to go. Otherwise you can set it to zero and it will simply count upwards. Then simultaneously you can also select a set distance to reach. This is in kilometers. Now if both of these parameters are set, then whichever one reaches zero first will end the workout. Another parameter is calories. This is so you can choose a set amount of calories to burn before the workout ends. Now you can just choose to set one of these parameters to keep things simple, or you can set multiple. Say if we wanted to just burn 100 calories and not worry about how long it'll take, then just leave the time and distance at zero and put a calories to 100. Finally, you can set your target heart rate, and this will flash when you've reached it during your workout so you know to slow down. So when that's all done, you can simply press start. And when you're done, you can simply press stop. Now, if you press the reset button, you'll return to the main menu. The next program is called Program. Here we can choose a P number, which corresponds to the mapped out diagrams down below. So let's select P number 5, for instance, and press enter. It will start by showing you the diagram corresponding to the maps down below. Now what this diagram actually is, is a timeline, and every column represents a different resistance setting. The higher it is, the harder the resistance. And as you work out, a flashing indicator will move across the diagram, and whichever column it reaches, the unit will adjust the resistance to that level. Now the length of the timeline and how long it takes to cross will depend on what time setting you put in. We can then again set our distance, calories, and pulse. And when that's all done, press start. As you can see, whichever column is flashing, that's where you are on the diagram and what resistance setting you'll be experiencing. Now, we'll return to the main menu again. The next program is heart rate control. Now this is a very useful program for maintaining a constant heart rate. But to start, you need to set your age so that it can accurately track what your optimum heart rate is. Now you'll be able to select what percentage of your heart rate you want to work out at. Be it 55%, 75% or 90%. Or your target heart rate for your age. And it shows down below how many beats per minute that is. Once you've selected that, you can again set time, distance, etc. And then press start. 
Now basically how this works is that the computer will try to keep your heart rate at the exact target you've set. So if it's too low, it will increase the resistance to up your heart rate. Or if it's too high, it will lower the resistance to drop your heart rate to the level that you specified. Remember, when using this setting, always have your hands on the pulse grips or use the optional wireless heart rate strap. Now the next program is User. Now this basically allows you to build your own timeline diagram of resistance levels, meaning you can manually select the resistance of each column on the timeline. You simply press up and down and then press enter to move to the next column. Once you finish with this, hold enter for a second and it will allow you to then choose time, distance, etc. Then simply press start. This custom user diagram will then be saved with your user profile. Now the next program is called watts. The definition of watts is the measurement of power exerted by the body. So if we press enter on the program it will ask us to set a certain watts level. Now this is similar but different to heart rate control in that it's not tracking your heartbeat, it's instead trying to maintain a constant output of power by your body and will increase or decrease the resistance accordingly. You can again then select time, distance, etc. and press start. Now as something optional, at the end of any workout, you can press the recovery button. Now this is a testing feature which this unit offers and it works by measuring the time it takes for your heart rate to lower after finishing a workout. So after you've pressed it, you need to hold your hands on the pulse grips or keep the wireless heart rate strap in place and not move and wait for the one minute countdown to end. At the end of the countdown, it will give you a score ranging from F1 to F6, F6 being the poorest, F1 being the best. And that is an indication of your general fitness level. You can use this to help track your increasing fitness level as you work out more and more. That is how to use the Infinity Q21 cross trainer console.